So welcome back to Jokmok. Do you also have a big pile of canisters with gas canisters that half empty or half full? In this video I'm going to talk about is it possible to refill these canisters without blowing your head off? My name is Matti. I'm working and living as a nature guide and dog musher. Together with my partner Stina we run a small guide and dog sled company just above the Arctic Circle in Jokmok. So outdoor life is what we are doing for a living. Some of you guys have given advice that we should look into one of these small things that you can use for transfer gas from one canister to another canister. You add one tube here when it's out. Out where you should have the canister that taking out the gas from. And then you put the other one here on that side where it's in. There is an arrow on this in which direction the gas should float. Then you can open and close it with this one. We bought this from Amazon and you can find a link down in the description if you want to get one of these by yourself. So they are not expensive, they are less than 20 euro actually or 20 dollar. The whole idea with this thing is instead of having empty canisters or half full canisters, you can fill up and get one that's almost full. Or if you're using this small one, they are really expensive if you compare to buying a bigger one. And then you can buy one bigger one and transfer gas to the small one. When you're doing this, you must be careful and I can't guarantee anything. I had no bad luck with this until now and I know people who are using them and I haven't heard anyone that have had bad luck with or accident with this one. So let's take this step by step. Here we have one canister that's empty. That's only the canister without any gas. 150 gram. Then we have this canister that is full with gas. It's never open. This one is 380 gram. That it's 230 gram difference between them. And this difference is the gas. So this canister, when it's full with gas, is 230 gram gas in it. And that's exactly what's written up here. When you want to fill one of these canisters, you should never overfill the canister. So never put 230 gram or more gas into one of these. They actually recommend that you should put maximum 80% of the gas into this one. Maximum 80%. 80% of 230 gram is... And I like to use this small canister instead of carrying around one of these big ones. This small fit into pots and it's better in the camera bag if I'm out on the shorter tour. Uh, one day, two days or something like that. This big canister, when you buy them with the gas, this gas is much cheaper than this one. We're going to refill one of these. This canister is full. This contains 100 gram gas. And the total weight of one of these is 188 gram. And that means that the empty canister is 88 gram. And if we add 80% of the gas into one of these, it's 88 gram plus 80 gram because 80 gram is 80% of 100 gram. So when I refill one of these, I will make them up to maximum 168, 170 gram. Today I'm going to take care of the gas in this one because this one contains 30 gram gas. And as you know, it's not super fun to use this when the temperatures start dropping outside. Because when you use this outdoors today in the autumn, uh, the pressure is so low in the canister, so it will take ages for you to make some coffee. When you have this, you can see an arrow here, an out and in it's written. So on the outside, I will put this one that I'm going to take gas out from. And on the other side, I'm going to put my small one that I'm going to refill. What you can do if the pressure is too low in one of these, 
is that to take a bowl like this, take a little bit warm water. This should not be hot at all. And then you take this canister and put it down. You should be careful with this. I have a little bit too hot water here. So this is maybe not really good. We don't put so much. Don't try this at home. The other tube that I want to refill, that's in my freezer. So I'm going to take that now. This one comes straight out of the freezer. 188 gram, 140 gram. Don't fill this more than 160 gram. So I can use 20 gram of this 30 gram into this one. You take this one out, add it here. Check so this is closed. So. Then take this here on top. So, and then I usually do that, like this. You just open it. Then you hear how it's pe piecing, how it's. So, let's see. Hundred and fifty. As you see, I'm a little bit careful. Boom! <laughs> you have, it's a feeling that it should explode any moment, so that's really bad. 155. 160. We have refilled it. This should not be more than 80% more than, uh, of the gas. And actually, then even if you fill it more than 80%, it will not explode. So you have uh, a marginal, but try to be careful with that. You actually freeze the canister that you want to refill. You warm up the canister that you want to take gas out of, and then you will be successful with this thing. Don't do this thing where you have a candle or some cozy thing close to you because this is actually gas and things can go wrong if you have a candle here or you don't make it close to your campfire. Try to use your kidney a little bit. Um, then it's no problem. I think that was all from me today. See you next video. Ciao!